What's up everybody, this is John back here today and we're going to be talking about the Suprema 4K Plus in a bit. And we're back. Now, before we continue uh, upon reviewing this item, I would like you to know that this is going to be uh, some uh, most of my set uh, if I'm going to be doing a review. No more parking lots in terms of review. As you can see, we have a table now, okay? And we have good lights somehow everywhere. And this part, I hope that at some point in time, I get to replace it with a, a, an even nicer background. But of course, uh, we're still work in progress. Now, I had this camera for quite some time now. I had fun using this camera as my main photo camera as well as video camera. Today, I'm going to be showing you uh, some uh, sample pictures compared with, let's say, something like a mobile phone. Of course, uh, you know that uh, if you're going to be shooting with a uh, DSLR, then that's going to be a different story. But if we're going to be shooting using a mobile phone, it could at least match up to this. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, if I'm going to be shooting photos using this camera, so most of it is going to be on automatic. Since most of you guys, same as me, that you just want to take it out and just shoot some photos with it. Same goes with the camera on the mobile phone that I'll be using. I'll be using the automatic settings so that it will be comparable to this guy. We're going to be shooting at 20 megapixels. That's the highest picture quality that we can get off of this camera. And I'm not going to be using the waterproof housing. So nothing is going to be in between the lens and the actual pictures that we're going to be doing. For the purpose of this review, we're going to be taking the Suprema 4K Plus and this phone. What phone this? Zenfone Max Pro. Zenfone Max Pro in a photo comparison shoot. And here's the photos. Here are the photos taken using the Supreme 4K Plus. Picture quality is at 20 megapixel, though we have left the rest of the settings on automatic. Though we have lessened the angle of the photos by selecting a narrower angle option, fisheye effect is still noticeable. You will also notice that the photos taken has less color saturation that may prohibit you from posting it in social media immediately without post-processing. Here's the photo we took of a big leaf. The shot was taken midday when the sun is at its highest. You will notice immediately that the colors are a bit bland and the sun rays are prohibiting us to see details of the leaf. Now, here's the shot taken from the mobile phone. We're also using automatic settings just to have a proper comparison. You will see immediately that the picture is more greener than the one that we have from the Suprema 4K Plus. It's more vibrant and you can actually see more details on the leaf even under the ray of the sun. Here's another photo of a blue flower now, looking at the shot taken on the mobile phone, it actually shows the real color of the flower which is actually white. You will see that photos taken from the Suprema 4K Plus needs a bit more tweaking in order for you to actually utilize the photos. Now you have seen the photos uh, from the Suprema 4K Plus versus this mobile phone that we're using uh, earlier. Uh, in my opinion, 
if you're going to be using the Suprema 4K Plus mainly as a photography or a camera that you use stills with, it's not going to be worth it. I think it's more highlighted in using videos rather than the actual photos. How much it costs right now since I made the video, uh, last I checked, it's still 3,800, sorry, 3,380 pesos. How much is that in uh, dollars? F60. 60 dollars. Magkano? Nang uhula ka lang eh. Magkano ba? 3,380 pesos. Around 60 bucks. Okay. Around 60 bucks, which I don't believe. So if you're deciding to take the Suprema 4K Plus with you in taking photos uh, rather than videos, I would strongly recommend that you just grab your mobile phone or have your mobile phone with you because it's, it is sharper, it is better than actual Suprema 4K Plus. I still believe that the Suprema 4K Plus shines best when you're using it as a video uh, camera instead of photo stills. In case you're wondering why I have the camera here, instead of the Supremo 4K Plus is because it's a preview of the next video that we're going to be doing. So you have the photos right now and obviously the next thing is going to happen is we're going to be shooting videos using the Supremo 4K Plus. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.